What's up guys, Jay Bright here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a Crossout News video. So as you guys might know, the big update is coming out next week and I believe Thursday is usually when they release their update. So Wednesday, they're gonna do a live stream. So I thought I would look at the dev vlogs they've released so far and see what kind of interesting stuff we're getting. So in the first dev vlog, they announced the legendary assault howitzer, basically a storm tiger. It's cannon, it's a weapon, same like the Kaiju, uses 12 energy. And the perk is it becomes resistant to uh, incoming damage while it's reloading. It says that the uh, impulse and the blast radius should be massive, so I can't wait to see this thing in action. The next thing they announced is a CK-40 Cyclone Auto Cannon. Kind of makes it look like a energy weapon. Actually, it kind of looks like a Scorpion or a Astros but a dual mounted one on a platform here. But I believe it's still gonna be classified as an auto cannon. I don't think CKs actually change the uh, weapon type of the weapon. And the last thing they announced in the first death block is two CKs for the Bastion cabin and the Harpy cabin. I do like these CKs a lot. The Bastion one looks kind of weird. I don't feel like it works. It has some kind of diffuser at the bottom of the blade. I mean, is this thing gonna hit like 100 miles per hour, per hour or something? I don't think so. It has uh, <laughs> air intakes here and here? <laughs> kind of weird, man, kind of weird. But yeah, that was the end of the first death vlog. So for the second death vlog, they announced the complete rework of the code driver system in the game. Now at this stage, they didn't really share much of the stats or the, the perks of the code drivers. They kind of wanted to make clear that or at least from their saying, if you have all the co-drivers now in the game, once the update drops or goes live, you'll have access to all of the co-drivers um, that they got. So you, you don't need to exchange or re-upgrade our levels, any co-drivers. That's what they're saying. I'm really hoping that's the case because I like the last level of the co-drivers we got right now is like 2000 electronics and I've leveled up a bunch of them. So that's... Uh, that's going to be annoying if I don't have all the code drivers ready. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what they were um, explaining here. In the third dev blog, they announced some new toys. The first one is the special auto cannon for short and medium distances. It's basically a special version of the world. The world's already amazing. So uh, I don't know. We got the terms. We got the, um, the other auto cannon of a special rarity. So I'm not sure how these are gonna perform these have non-explosive bullets so it might fire fast it might fire the same as the world but only with one barrel they also announced a legendary rocket artillery i'm kind of excited for this one i hope it's in the battle pass so we can get it for free but what they say is they, it's basically the same as a mandrake but you can lock onto your target so uh, it might be deadly it might be garbage but we'll have to see but it looks badass though and at the end of the death vlog they announced uh, two new ck's for the small tracks and the aurora laser the aurora laser looks like a really post-apocalyptic energy weapon and it looks just badass the new the aurora we got right now it's okay you know it looks it's clean but this one looks like um, more improvised the kind of a uh, weapon in the fourth death vlog they announced a few more items to the game uh, first off is a epic version of the heavy minigun of the reaper but this one is uh gonna be an epic version and the reaper is i don't know the reaper is a legendary weapon which is at a, a strange spot it's a good weapon but not amazing so i'm not sure how this one's gonna be depending on the energy that this thing consumes if it's a five energy weapon you can run three could be fun if it's four, it's gonna be amazing. Six is too much. And three is just gonna be godlike having five epic Reapers on your, uh, or uh, having miniguns on your belt is gonna be insane. But I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna be three energy. They also announced a special module that increases the effectiveness of the built in scopes. Now, I was hoping they would make this uh, built in scope thingamabob more interesting but all it says is it doesn't consume energy it increases the magnification rate of the scope and it does not move the point of view personally i wouldn't mind if it consumed one energy but it should give you like a whole bunch of information like the enemy held uh the health of their weapons the direction they're going you know all kinds of stats if you're scoped in but then again if you're scoped in you might not want to see all that information but it would be cool if you had a module that does that 
if you're not scoped out or I don't know, something like that would be cool. And then finishing off this death block, they announced the return of the chase mode that was never broken, but they removed it anyways. In the fifth death block, they announced some very, very interesting stuff. If these items are in the battle pass, it's going to be a battle pass really worth getting. Now, the first item is a passive defense module of legendary rarity. This thing basically soaks up damage for your build, uh, probably if they're mounted to the power nodes. And um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, there's no numbers yet on how much damage you can absorb and stuff like that. There are some examples here, but it says only 200 damage. I'm not sure if that's going to be the final number. Very interesting module, though. Very interesting. The next thing they announced is the legendary lightweight cabin, which uh, resembles an MR2, a Toyota MR2. And unfortunately, they left the engine on the cabin itself, which I don't like. It's kind of like the Janabi cabin, but it's probably the same theme. Uh, but uh, this thing basically removes all the negative status effects on your build, which is pretty sick. I asked for a, a fire extinguisher so you could cool your build off in case you're heated. But this build or this cabin just completely removes um, negative status effects like fire, electricity, slowing down your build, slowing down your third rotation speed. All that bad stuff will be gone and it and you won't be affected by it for a short time as well. So very, very interesting cabin. The biggest one for me is it's going to remove heating effect because almost everything has some kind of fire damage right now. Guns have fire perks. They're fire weapons, a bunch of fire weapons. So, you know. Having a cabin that removes all of that is going to be quite nice. Furthermore, they announced some structure parts, kind of look like Steppenwolf parts, some more decor items. And that's where they ended with this dev vlog. And then for our final dev vlog, they are giving us some more information about the new update. This big vehicle is probably going to be the vehicle we chase. Look at that plow. Oh my God, that's so lovely. But yeah, they added new items for our range, the rocket launcher and the machine gun. They announced some more co-driver stuff because uh, of the mass testing. People gave them feedback, so they rework a bunch of stuff. They also announced some balance changes, and they're going to make the crossbow's physical model smaller, which is good. They look kind of massive. They're also buffing the master cabin a lot, which is nice. The master cabin is pretty much useless. The disc launcher ripper also getting a pretty nice buff. Hopefully, it will be effective enough. The SD Fulger also getting a buff. Personally, I don't think it's enough. Just like the yokai, the yokai needs a bunch of buffs before, before it became really effective. But looking at the uh, the stats now, the target acquisition time will be reduced by 19%. It's not a lot. Drone flight speed 5%, not a lot as as well. Detection range 17%. So all these tweaks are nice. You know, it, it's good. It, it's it's a step in the right direction. They also buffed the baby scorpion, the pulse accelerator asterisk. The physical size of the projectile has been reduced by 75%, which is um, okay, I guess. I thought they were going to buff it a bit more, but, you know, that's it. So, yeah, these are the plan changes for the upcoming update next Thursday. Wednesday is going to be probably the live stream, like I mentioned, so stay tuned for that. I'm just going to be there in chat and just making fun or chatting with y'all. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this news video for people who don't keep up with this uh, sort of stuff hopefully this video helped out and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching have a great day peace out